everybody! I'm doing a five minute mini session for Johannes. So I'm gonna be sharing energy work and wisdom. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals for the session here and get started. All right, so it says, hey Abby, can you take a look at my connection to my higher self and guides? And what happens subconsciously, energetically there? Cool. Okay, connection to higher self and guides. What happens subconsciously, energetically there? Hmm. All right, here we go. All right, <clears throat> I see you standing at a hallway and it's narrow and it's like uh, your average walls here. Um, I mean, it's literally very basic. And this, this hallway goes at a slight, very slight angle up towards what is like a white cloud and a white door. And it's a long ways down, but you can still see the door. It's not so far that it's out of sight. I don't know what it is about this hallway, but there's something about this hallway that's not quite right to me. Not because of the way it looks, but because of the way that it is expressing itself vibrationally. Um, when I step into the hallway, I can tell it's, it's not like um, solid, and it feels kind of like a, a bridge that's made out of wood beams, and it's like on a kid's playground, and it could bounce up and down, and it makes kind of noises and goes back and forth and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of like this. It um, goes back and forth and it kind of bounces when you walk down this hallway. But you never actually step into it. You stay. You stay standing here looking down the hall to the door. Um, so as I'm exploring the meaning of this place, I'm discovering all of these little details, but I'm also seeing that you never actually enter into the hallway yourself. Why are you doing that? <laughs> it's like, well, I can talk to my higher self and spirit guides from here. Um, I don't have to go down the hallway to that door. I can just talk to them from here. And it's like talking to them on a, like a can with a string on it. And then your friend has the other can. And then you talk to them like this. It's not effective. <laughs> it's not as effective as it could be. And in a way, the, you shut the door on yourself. They never shut that door on you. And you're the one that feels more comfortable with it like this. This isn't what they're wanting to experience with you. Your like, hand is like, talk to the hand, but I'll still listen or whatever, but I don't want to be too close to you, you're too close to me kind of thing. You like keep them at a distance. You feel like they wronged you somehow, like you were wronged. You kind of, you're holding a grudge and you feel like your spirit guides have let you down. But it's all kind of um, together, like your higher self spirit guides, they have all let you down. So you're kind of holding a grudge. <clears throat> and you don't want to talk to them. You want them, but you don't. <laughs> you want them, but you're mad at them. And then they can, I'll just create a situation where it appears as though, you know, I just need to walk down the hallway and then I can go talk to him anytime. But really, I'm just creating this as uh, because I just don't want to talk to him. <laughs> because I'm mad at him. You're pissed at him. And they deserve to be behind that door. They don't deserve you. They hurt you. And friends that hurt friends don't deserve that friend. And you're holding a grudge here. Spirit guides don't hurt you, you hurt yourself. That's what happens. So whenever you fall out with your spirit guides because life sucks and it's gotta be all their fault, it's really you falling out with yourself. Um, so spirit guides are actually doing everything right. It's you that has to understand what it is you're doing to create life to be this way. Um, they're guiding you through the emotional and mental and all of those um, ways that we process life. Um, but you really choose the path yourself. And it's like the higher self guiding you, but the spirit guides guide you through that experience as well. 
You're not going to prevent you from falling into a snake trap if you need to fall into the snake trap, but they'll help you to process the experience of being in the snake trap <laughs> to help you cope and <laughs> figure your way out of this thing kind of thing. That's not a good enough um, explanation for you. You're still pissed and you're kind of crouched to the ground and, and uh, have your back towards me and uh, your back towards the hallway and that door. And they aren't going to come through the door to say, oh, why aren't you wanting us in your life? What can we do? They're just like, oh, well, if you're going to be that way, <laughs> that's cool. Mm -hmm. But they're also just waiting for you to decide when you're ready to have them close to you again. They never get offended and they never play these kind of mind games like we play. They're pretty straightforward and solid, so <laughs> that's kind of what they're like. So your higher self says, so are you wanting to develop a loving relationship with me? Are you wanting to develop a loving relationship with your friends, spirit guides? And you're mad because of love. Love hurts you. So if you develop a loving relationship with your higher self and spirit guides, you're only going to get hurt. And I say to you, I'm speaking to you and I, I say something like, um, do you feel that love, Johannes? Do you feel how warm that love is? Do you feel how comforting and nurturing that love is? You're worthy of this love. It's okay to welcome that love in and to let this love guide you. Now things in life are going to happen and it's going to be challenging, but that doesn't mean you don't, um, you, you aren't allowed to experience that love anymore. You can welcome that love even more during those hard times. And it's not the love that has failed you, it's you being challenged. You're kind of sad and you're turning into like a ash and you're just kind of crumpled to the ground. And you need time to think and to process what you want to do. <clears throat> and you have a kind of a dark side of yourself inside that's um, it's kind of convincing you to stay bitter about something. <clears throat> It's kind of giving you a good reason to kind of just stay separated, but let's be real here. What good is it going to do you truly to stay separated from that love? It's just like, just lock me in a closet and that's what's best for me. That never does any good for anybody. It's hiding and running away from what it is you're truly wanting to experience. So you need to ask yourself, is it love that I want in my life? Am I afraid of love? What are the reasons why I'm afraid of love? I could use my higher self and spirit guides help um, and their guidance in order to welcome love back into my life. Because love is something that I do want in my life and I'm vulnerable to it. Now see how you're making the connection. Now see how you are working with your guides and your higher self instead of pushing them away and creating separation. <sighs> I will say this is creating beautiful movement in your heart and in your emotional gut. Um, it feels like you're processing some feelings and you're moving through those feelings and it looks like this, but it's very good learning for you. And it's gonna bring some positive changes into your life and into your psychic development, for sure. <sighs> mm. Okay, Johannes, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for exploring this session with me. It's fun working with you. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day.